going on, folks? JJ here. I uh, got another video for you before we get into this. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, you've been here before and you ain't hit that subscribe button yet, please take a moment of your time. Go right down below, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. So when I do drop a video, you may or may not be notified by YouTube. So here we go. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Sammy's like. It's a, it's a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. Yeah. Like the Jelly of the Month Club. It keeps on giving. What are we talking about today? Well, he had done a video about five, six days ago trying to straighten up the whole, you know, Funzy Thierry girlfriend fiasco that he wants to blame everybody else for other than himself. So we're going to play a little quick video. She likes you. She, uh, you want one. I, I, and I, now I know who he's talking about. He's got the wrong name. He's got everything by itself, but I don't even want. Wait a minute. He's got everything messed up. We'll play that little clip in a minute, but does he have everything messed up? Yes. Here we go again. He is going to lie on everybody else, blame everybody else other than for his screw ups or the crew getting something wrong. But listen, I want to talk about it. I don't give a fuck what he says. I don't care what anybody says. But really, you wouldn't keep be going on about it. You would admit, hey, I may have got the names and everything else messed up. But no, you said Mikey. You're, you're, you're implying Mikey. Scar has got everything messed up. We're going to play that again so you can be reminded. I never, never went after a friend's wife, daughter, anything like that. So you say. So I'm, I'm comfortable in my, uh, with me and Buck. And Buck took an oath right in front of you while we were talking. You heard him. Buck, the, the, you want to say it again? I never did it. You hear that? Okay, I got to admit, in, in, my, in my world of things, him talking to his dick was pretty funny. Okay, so, he never did. so there you have it. He's implying that Mikey made this all up. He got the names wrong. He did everything wrong. Okay, but let's, let's go back to, let's go, let's go to this next video. Okay, here is the next video I'm going to present to you. Remember, he's saying that Mikey got it all wrong. Mikey was the one behind it. Well, let's Fancy add this. Thierry and his girlfriend, Rita Berta. Um, I knew Funzy uh, Tierra. I went, I Wait a minute. I thought it was Mikey who said all this. So Mikey's the one inside your head speaking. Rita's got to be dead by now, so I could say this. Rita was, I knew her too. She was a blowjob in the neighborhood. I think I got one or two blowjobs off her. But uh, I'm thank God that what's her name didn't find out. But uh, yeah, I did know them. Uh, <laughs> everybody's moaning. I think I'm in trouble. There you go, folks. There you go. Again, he is shifting the blame onto somebody else. And Let's face it, this is the kind of stuff that Mikey and a few others are pointing out about Sammy. Now, Sammy was asked the question. He was asked the question. So somebody sent him in the question. Is uh, I think Anna, and I don't know who she is, um, read it. And he goes with the funzy terror. Like he he could have corrected it at any time right there. And from what I understood, the video got taken down. I don't know if they put it back up again since it really doesn't matter anymore. So, folks, this is not about him getting the blowjob. It's about the inconsistencies of his stories. Like he's saying one thing and doing another. He's been doing this the whole time. He did it with the Diane Sawyer. He, he did it with John Gleason. He did it in his book. He did it with Patrick Beck David. He's done it since he's been on in YouTube and people believe it. Now I did have one, uh, one commenter, uh, who stated this, he said, you know, this stuff he's talking about is 60 years ago. He's 79. 
do we expect him to remember everything and know all the details? No, we don't. Let's just be honest here. He shouldn't have to. But here's the problem with Sammy. That if you go look not, at the comment sections on every video he does, it's like, oh, wow, Sammy's got this great mind. He can remember everything in detail. Well, yeah, when he's telling his own story. But when somebody calls him out on it, here's what happens. And I'm not saying the commenter is a Sammy fan, but here's what happens. When he tells a story, all his mind, his sharp, he's, he's on point. He's, he's remembering everything. He's, you know, it's remarkable. Then when somebody calls him out on it or points out that, hey, what he said one in one section here or at one time said this here, He's saying something totally different now. Oh, well, what did you expect? He, you know, he's he's almost 80 years old. He can't remember everything. Semi fans, which one is it? Either he's remarkably smart to remember everything, or he can't. And why do you encourage and why do you as fans encourage that? You know, you can't have it both ways. So and, and then you've got Sammy. Who's who was doing really well with James Carroll when he had Bella on there? That was when his show, that his channel, and everything was firing on firing on all cylinders. It was really great. Bella and the Bull was good, but look what's happened since then. These his crew does not fact check or do any kind of research, and that's his problem. He don't have that person that is willing to say, hey, Sammy, you said this earlier. We need to fix this. We need to do something. He doesn't have an RJ, uh, James Proctor. Um, he don't have those guys. Or Jeff Nadeau. You can make fun of all these guys all you want, but these guys fact-checked everything. They research it. Well, I don't think these guys would work for Sammy, but Sammy needs somebody like that. Yeah. He, folks, listen, if, if you're going to listen to him and follow him, that's fine. But understand that there is people when he points out something that's, I'm not talking about the smallest things, but you just lied on somebody else. And then in that video, he, he tries to berate somebody who, quote, unquote, wasn't made. Well, it ends up that that guy ended up being made. So I want to point this out to you. Um, you can do with it with whatever you want, but like I said, he's lying on Mikey Scars once again. He's lying on somebody once again. He's come up with a new excuse once again that it wasn't Funzy Terry that they was talking about. It was some other guy that owned that 1771 club. I think it's what it was called. You ha there you have it, folks. Point proven. I'm fixing to head the hell on out of here. I hope everybody's staying blessed. And just remember, folks, like I always say, when it comes to doing the right thing, making this world a better place, helping others out, doing the right thing. Right. It does work. And I'm out. Bye-bye.